You will not find toughness in a comfortable environment. The only way you find it is to drown yourself in a position where you're just out of sorts. Where you can't swim and you're drowning. You're drowning. You're drowning in life. But you say, you know what, man? Fuck that. And where down we go, go, go. Sucked. Nice to have the bike here back, getting the lactate back in my legs. That one hurt a little bit. Good thing. So, um, let's talk about health. Is that training harder is better? Well, what a lot of people don't understand is that past a certain percentage of your VO2 max, your body will predominate in one substrate over the other, essentially turn into ATP later down the line, right? So you will simultaneously free up fatty acids and utilize carbohydrates to turn into ATP later down the line, fuel your exercise, general life things. However, past a certain percentage of your VA2 max, it will predominate one substrate over the other. So past up 65% and it will want to predominate carbohydrates over freeing up fatty acids. Obviously below 65%, but say 60%, it will primarily want to utilize freeing up fatty acids to later turn into ATP down the line. So this sort of freaked people out because it challenges people to like then think about well how hard am I actually working during training and should I be working that hard if fat loss is the goal and then what is my food intake and, and calories so let's let's just say you're on a fixed calorie of 2000 calories per day and then all of a sudden you're like well I'll just add in a, a bit of cardio to help facilitate that fat burn later down the line. If you do nothing, don't change your calories and just add in the cardio. Obviously, that's then going to create you a de deficit because it changes the energy availability, right? The, the energy expenditure versus the energy intake would essentially be the deficit because you've just increased cardio. Calories in versus calories out, right? Uh, the way you want to go. But like, if you're just adding in more cardio when is essentially enough enough are you going to start adding in more and then more and then more like does 20 minutes become half an hour does half an hour become an hour to an hour to come two hours and so on and so forth and, and then all of a sudden you're essentially driving yourself into this massive deficit and you're not giving your body enough available energy to run its essential processes for general health as well as fueling your exercise in the gym and general life does more equal better in the long run so for example you may have been following a diet or a diet nutrition plan for 8 to 12 weeks maybe 16 weeks and you're in a moderate caloric deficit and you're now seeing no changes you may have seen some good changes right initially at the beginning because you made that response happen but now you're adding in more and more and more and more cardio or more and more and more and more exercise and you're just driving yourself into a bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger deficit and your body's now just Thematically trying to shut some processes down to preserve whatever energy availability there is left to run its health processes and then in turn you will then see a knock-on effect later down the line which we'll go into on another video. So I haven't actually registered for the open but as it seems to be the thing I'm giving 23.1 ago today uh, definitely gonna hurt and um, I think my strategy for this is to pace myself on the row and uh, just maintain my pace throughout gonna aim for about a four minute row and my goal is just to make it to the ring muscle ups I haven't actually done a ring muscle up in about six years so my goal is just to make it there and if I get one I get one and that'll be a bonus so yeah so for those who don't know 23.1 60 cow row 50 toes to bar 40 wall balls to a 10 foot marker with a 9 kilo ball or a 20 pound ball if you're in the states uh, 30 cleans at 135 which is 61 kilos and then 20 ring muscle ups definitely not gonna get 20 but one will definitely be a bonus so 23.1 I do not miss, ayy Started from Cali and now I got bitches in Europe They singing my shit Remember it's never the critic who counts That's just the way that it is huh. Tell me, why would I listen to you on this shit When you never could do what I did Ahead of the curve 
For me to put pen down the paper, you gotta show me that you know what I'm worth yeah. Own all my masters, I'm never signing a 360, it's 10 for the verse yeah. 10 for the watch, shooter like her I've been a boss, yeah. ever since birth I got a check, Vaccarello yeah. made their shirts I really feel like I'm chosen, yeah Balling out like I'm DeRozan, yeah Fuck up the game, need a Trojan, huh. My baby deep like the ocean, yeah Baby, I seen this already, this ain't nothing new We done came up, but it's still the same crew Titans of industry, pillars of stone Right when we spoke it, we already knew Please hit the like and subscribe button uh, It does obviously doesn't cost you a thing Help support us and the channel, it helps the channel grow And we are, look again, looking forward to taking you on this journey with us So, from me, Bruno, and uh, James behind the camera We will catch you in the next episode